Bed chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <laughs> Surprised? No, not at all. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. adored flowers but she would never want to destroy them this place seems suitable yes she loved to paint did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that.
I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband. But you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How'd you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say.
Sigurd and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. Just like the one Olgird's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land. Custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and toss them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Italian's humming. A wraith? No. A nightmare. A fear crystallized. One you must now face. Another dream of the past. But this one's incomplete too. Just a little different than the painting. Castel Ravello, a Toussaint wine. Expensive. Geard's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. Was burning in the painting, 
Still something missing, though. Candles also need lighting. Candles also need lighting. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris' things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Mm, still not right. She painted all geared. But the details are off. Living Tableau's missing something. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it.
living tableau has got to look just like the painting. Fits, I think. goes here. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry, please. Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm, a tome about parleying with demons. Blood? For some kind of magic, I bet. Chalk. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. Let's try this. Nothing. What about this? Mm, not even a fizzle. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. 
I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Smack in the middle of our region, blizzard. Gotta find shelter. Get inside. 